Hello, and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Ms. Matthews, and today we're going to explore equivalent fractions. Today's learning goal focuses on learning to see fractions in different ways, and to find and name equivalent fractions using a visual model. Here are some optional materials you might want to have, but you do not need them to complete today's lesson. What do you notice about this image? What do you know about eggs? How many eggs do you see? Yes, there are 12 eggs. Suppose six of the eggs are used to bake a cake. How would you remove those six eggs? Here are some of the ways you might have thought about taking out the six eggs. What do they all have in common? That's right, they all have six eggs left. So the question is, what fraction of the entire set is six? When two different fractions are equal and represent the same part of the same whole, they are called equivalent fractions. So we know that we have one half or six twelfths of the eggs left. Now I want to know, what fraction of the set was removed? Well, you might have noticed that there are six eggs left and six eggs that were removed. So it's going to be the same fractions. Suppose another time you used four eggs to bake some cookies. How would you remove or take out those four eggs? There are many ways that we could take out those four eggs. Let's just take a look at these two. What is similar about these pictures? One thing that is similar is that they both have eight eggs remaining. What fraction of the entire set is eight? We have eight of the 12 eggs remaining, and the fraction that describes those eight eggs is eight twelfths. Is there another way that we can name that fraction? When we think about fractions, we know that our parts or our groups need to be equal in order for us to name them. We can see that we removed a group of four here. Looking at the eight eggs left, I can see that I can make two more groups of four, like this. In our other eight carton, we can see the four that were removed here and then we can see the other groups of four, like this. Can you see another way to name the eight remaining eggs as a fraction? Since there are three groups of four to make up our whole, we call them thirds. Each group of four is one third. So what fraction describes the eight eggs that are left in our carton? We can see that four eggs is one third. So eight eggs would be two thirds. Two 
2 thirds and 8 twelfths are another example of equivalent fractions because they represent the same part of the same whole. Today we used images to see fractions in different ways, to find and name equivalent fractions using a visual model. You also had an opportunity to practice your skills for being a creative and critical thinker by trying to see and name those fractions in different ways. You also were able to practice being goal-directed and resilient by staying on task during this lesson. Which emoji best represents where you are in your learning today? To continue your learning, see what other equivalent fractions you can make using our egg image. Thank you for watching. I'm Ms. Matthews. I hope you have a fun-filled mathematical day and keep on counting.